Good morning to all dignitaries, guests and participants. With great joy and immense exultation, I, Akanksha, feel privileged to extend a warm welcome to our management committee members, our Honorable Chairperson Mrs. Varsha Daga, our Venerable Chief Guest Dr. Meeta Tarafdar, esteemed principals of other schools, participants and guests for the celebration of Science Safari 2022. A very special day where we all witness students' achievements and many scientific advancements. We are glad to have you all here. We are also thankful to Ratna Sagar who are always associated with their education. Children are the promises of tomorrow, so they should be made aware of the importance of science. This is the reason Jamshedpur Public School is leaving no stone unturned to help the students to experiment with their knowledge and are providing them different platforms to showcase their skills. God knows our needs, so let him be our companion in today's journey. I would like to take this event forward by seeking the blessings of Almighty God. We shall start the program with a solemn prayer service. is great but to be an inspiration is an honor we are highly honored to have amongst dr meeta tarafda as the chief guest of science safari 2022 she she is the chief scientist of nml and head of knowledge resource and information technology she has 30 years r and d experience in material informatics information system e waste management skill and techno entrepreneurship development she is the former chairperson of indian institute of metals and recipient of lady engineer and csir's technology award for business development and technology marketing now i entreat our chief guest dr meeta tarafda to speak a few words of motivation to enhance the spirit of the students teachers and students is uh, here for the science safari. And uh, when I got the invitation uh, to uh, be the chief guest, I was really honored. And I'm thankful to uh, your principal, Namita Ji. And she's always a, a very uh, motivating person. And thanks, uh, Namita Ji, for inviting me. And I'm also thankful to the management of JPS for inviting me to get, give this chance to interact with students and teachers uh, in, in this uh, science safari program. <clears throat> As you all know that I'm so much uh, connected to science uh, for so many, many years. And uh, I'm very much passionate uh, to see that uh, students, um, they, they are uh, practicing science. It is not only learning science, we are doing science. And that is so important. For, for, for our country. And therefore, I would like all of you not only learn science, but they sh uh, all of you should do science. I made a little presentation because I see that uh, when we are in online meeting, 
uh, if I just say a few words uh, that be not registered, uh, it's, it's always good to have a little, I have few five, five four slides. If uh, Namita ji allow me, then I can present that one. Is it sure, okay? So what I'll do, I will just um, present this uh, thing I have prepared specially for uh, you, all of you. I. I can share the presentation uh, with your principal so that she can share it with uh, all the students uh, who are joining, uh, going to join this science safari. So uh, one thing I want, I'm sure this is uh, known by the teachers that that is called Bloom's taxonomy. Why, what is Bloom's taxonomy? It is a different order of thinking, like how we think. I was talking about learning by doing and uh, exactly what are the various order of learning. Like first thing is we remember things. We are taught uh, that especially the students, they are taught you remember, you do this sum, you do this work. And that is, this, that is the basic level of understanding. That is basic level of learning. That is like in, in calculus, I can give you example of a calculus. You learn integration. So you, you many of you are very good in doing, in, in doing integration. It is so, uh, so, uh, interesting and so simple, you do it very fast. And then after that, do you really know the meaning of this integration? What is the uh, concept behind this integration? What is the meaning of this integration? When we uh, talk in terms of uh, mathematics, what is the connectivity of this word integration with the activity uh, that the sum that you do? So this is something you will uh, understand. Then that is the next higher order of learning. Then apply. Now, can you use the integration to find out area or volume of uh, um, um, elements or, or some object? So then you are applying your knowledge your then in, in, in doing the calculation and then ultimately analyze. Suppose when you do integration, there will be some error because this is an approximation method. And how do you analyze the error? And once you, whether you can analyze, whether you can uh, minimize, then that is analyze and evaluate. And then finally, can you come out with some new form of integration, the new method of integration? Nobody has done it, and that is called create, and that is called innovation. So the, you are becoming an innovative person. And this thing starts from remembering, remembering no doubt about it. But you have to follow this um, ladder, like the, which is expected from all the students to become creative and innovative in future so they can have the higher order learning. So it is very important. So when I talk about innovation, you must be thinking <laughs> always we, we in school, you have heard that you know, you, you, you innovate. Then this question comes to your mind that what to innovate and how to innovate. You are studying so much, you don't know how to innovate. So this is something you, it comes. So I thought I'll give you a simple block diagram. So this is a kind of information in, in universal system. It means any system you see, one is input, then there is a processing, then there is an output, and output gives some feedback to input, and from the processing, we get waste. Now, uh, like you have to make each of these component efficient, like how to make input efficient, how to make processes efficient, how to make output efficient, how to make the feedback system efficient and how to minimize waste. So this is something if you can uh, identify in your everyday life, in your everyday start, uh, uh, learning or everyday life, whatever see around you, if you can fit all these things inside this input processes, output and feedback and waste, you and you, if you think that you can uh, take uh, some action to, to enhance, to reduce, uh, to optimize, then you will be able to innovate. I'll give you an example, like water. You know that water, what is that? That you have a dirty, dirty water and you, ha you, ha you can come up with a process for purification. You get clean water, but uh, do for doing that, you have waste, waste uh, that is coming out after purification and you need energy. Now, if you can optimize all these things. Suppose when you are walking around the road, you can see uh, many nalas, many small water uh, sort of flow streams, which is full of uh, garbage. It's such a dirty space. So as an engine, like innovator, innovator, it must be coming to your mind how to clean up this water. What is to be done? 
how can can we do something so that this water can be converted to a better water water so what i am trying to give you example of what to innovate that question must be coming to you what to innovate how to innovate that comes from the learning that you are having in your school education now where you can do innovation like source of water you, if you can increase the source of water that is something really marvelous if you can do micro innovation you are reducing the uh, uses of water low cost treatment of water that is another process water distribution water meter reduce water wastage so simon so many things will come to your mind where you can innovate so that is very important to understand where to innovate how to innovate that that is something you have to keep on innovating to 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 uh, uh, learn uh, learn the process of innovation so you have to keep on doing it even it is silly even it is wrong Uh, but you have to keep on practicing science and that is the thing i call practicing science now one thing is when i talk about when you talk about education and skill that i thought that i will give these two distinction between that education means you are learning by knowing it is knowledge based it is theoretical that is your education so once you have completed your education you think you are getting going to get a big job it is not like that unless and until you develop uh, you have skills like experimental skill basic computer skills data is key skill car cat cam skill electronic robot product development skill all these skills unless and until you develop you, you getting job is going to be very difficult that is your skills will be very important in future so all the students you must identify what are the skills that you want to gather like when you learn how to do crafting or how to make models that your teacher is trying to give you some skill that skill even the team building is also a skill working in a team uh, appreciating each other is also a skill so all these kind of skills that you need to have the more skills you have the better your person in terms of um, getting job is going to be so try to understand which skills are required by you and you do that so before i end my talk let me talk about our organization you know about national in csir nml you are talking about nml the full form is national metallurgical laboratory where we do work in the area of metallurgy and material science and our <clears throat> president is the prime minister honorable prime minister and the uh, minister of uh, science and technology dr jitendra singh he is our vice president dr sishikhar si monday he is our director general and dr indranil chaturaj he is our director so there are 38 laboratories all over india and there are many outreach centers so you can understand this is a wealth of the nation national metallurgical laboratory is a national lab and many many national labs are there it is spread all over india and this is actually a wealth of nation and we are the categorized into five section like one is physical science laboratory chemical science laboratory biological science laboratory engineering science laboratories and information science so nml is part of uh, engineering science laboratories and this is the some of the program we do for students and teachers we have scientists and science teachers conclave where we try to give this skill to the teachers and try to understand what is the requirement of future students so that we can our scientists can work uh, towards giving you that kind of facilities so we try to understand that so there is called uh, science and scientist and science teachers <laughs> we have uh, we organize teachers training on innovation that we organize we are doing digital contents for school students so i would be very keen to have feedback from students and uh, i would request principal to help me to get uh, input from students and teachers about this digital contents and we also organized many boot camps for students so these are the uh, site in youtube that is called csir nml jigyasha where we are uploading many videos uh, which is based on uh, the, our 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 understanding of science and at the same time we have created a game on crystallography and that is there you know uh, mobile game um, app based game that you can play we can have a totally program on helping you to learn all how to play this game and this is very simple this is not a big deal but it is quite interesting the upcoming program of csir nml uh, these are there will, that will be computational material science there will be lecture on 8th of february metal recycling there will be a lecture on 25th february advanced materials processing that will be on 4th of january 
analytical and applied chemistry a lecture will be on 17th march we are organizing this program on regular basis and the program will start from 4 pm and end at 5 pm so i request all all teachers and students to join this popular lecture series of csi renmin and we are planning to we are going to establish csi renmin science club in schools so i would request principal to help me to install this science club in jps and other schools because i understand there will be many students from various schools so please please tell the students uh, to join the club and they can contact me uh, for joining this club and also learn science by doing it yourself so we are making many science diy kit and we are teaching also student how to make diy kit or tool for learning science so that they understand what science what are the physical concepts about various science science uh, uh, topics that we are trying to do and uh, there is a registration is open for csi animal science club in schools so we are going to send the link so students can join there we want uh, one two students and one teacher from the school is school so they will be our um, the representative of school so they will register and at the same time they will connect the other students in the science club so we will create that kind of uh, system and on 24th january we are organizing a national Ch girl child day so i request principal to help me to get connected to the girl students uh, of, of your school and we will have a online program at 4:30 with that i would like to thank again uh, to to jps um, the schools management and principal for inviting me for delivering the talk and enjoy learning science and enjoy the um, uh, suffering that you are going to have uh, today uh, today to learn science in 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 practicing it in and experiencing it with that i would like to end here thank you minds a dream doesn't become a reality through magic it takes sweat determination and hard work yes it's a belief in those by a principal ma'am mrs namita agarwal she has always been our source of inspiration and motivation it's my privilege to welcome our dearest principal ma'am to address the young competitors of science safari 2022 thank you shashwat a very good morning to all the teachers students and of course our dear chief guest mrs dr amita tarafdar we are all very very excited today to get started with our next edition of science safari and uh, i would like to thank our chief guest uh, dr tarafdar for giving such a motivational speech a uh, very inspiring and also you have given us such a lot of information about the great things that nml is doing we know we have been associated with you since so many years and we know the uh, great things you are doing for the students and definitely ma'am we will be our students when you and your programs which you have just mentioned and uh, i would say that uh, science is everywhere nobody can do without it uh, it has spanned the skies measured the oceans revealed so many secrets it is definitely the driving force on which this universe is working so we cannot say that i am a science student or i am i am a commerce student whatever you have to be with science wherever you are whoever you are you cannot do without science and whether you accept it or you study formally the uh, you know the concepts of science or not science is in you every day and everywhere so you cannot do without it thus we have this science safari every year to inspire our students to learn more and more to become more creative to develop their creative and critical thinking uh, skills and by providing such opportunities we hope that it will develop scientific spirit among our students uh, to help them to increase their thinking and reasoning reasoning power as well as logical reasoning critical thinking etc i would say the students of this 21st century they are really really uh, uh, they have got this uh, wealth of uh, knowledge and they've got this wealth of creative thinking which was not there i would say earlier they have got exposure to such a lot of things which uh, really it amazes us to see the amount of creativity which is there in our students and uh, the reason being of course the social media which is giving them this exposure so they have to see what are the positives what are the benefits of uh, using this kind of wealth and never go into the negative never look into the negative side of this because every coin has two sides we all know it so definitely use your uh, thinking power use your reasoning skills only to do good things to use science in the positive manner only 
of course as meeta ma'am has just mentioned a lot of gamification in learning is happening we are talking about chat box uh, chat bots for uh, life skills there are so many things which were just not known to us just few years back and now we have been exposed to all these things i would say that students should take the benefit of this and uh, move ahead with it so once again congratulations students you are, all have worked very hard and i welcome the students of the other schools the principals who have joined us on youtube uh um, we are looking forward to a wonderful day today and a lot of exciting events so thank you and uh, let's move ahead with today's program thank you ma'am for your inspiring words shiv is the symbol of power strength happiness and prosperity harshita kumari of standard 9b is going to invoke his blessings through a devoted dance performance thus making us feel the presence of shambhu
I hope you all enjoyed it. Music is a moral law. It gives soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, charm and gaiety to the life. Let's welcome our school choir for the inaugural song. Friends, that was such a beautiful recital. How enchanting! Now, before we move forward with the program, I would like to tell you all that this mega event is being conducted by following all the COVID guidelines. We are also thankful to Ratna Sagar, who are always associated with the education. The COVID guidelines are: wash your hands frequently with soap and water for at least 20 seconds each time avoid physical contact like shaking hands and hugging maintain social distancing have home cooked food do not eat outside have lunch at your desk exercise daily to stay fit make sure that mask covers your nose and mouth properly store your mask carefully Cuff or sneeze into the crook of your arm or inner elbow. Clean and disinfect doorknobs, handles and tabletops. Stay indoors as much as possible. Now, we present before you a variety of events prob probing from scientific to mellifluous swing of our temperaments, thus heralding a complete fusion encased in us. Good luck to all the participants. So all the best students. And uh, I would like to wish all the students once again a very exciting day today and hope you all enjoy the Science Safari. So I think we can close the Google Meet and start with the events, individual events. <laughs> 